Hi, hello, I'm here again. And what we're going to do right now is we are going to talk about finding the nth term of arithmetic sequence. Get ready with your modules because we will be discussing on our Mass 10, Module 2, Week 2. So for example, how are we going to solve this kind of problem? Find the 20th term of an arithmetic sequence 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, so on and so forth. How about if find the 124th term? Or you're going to ask for find the 205th term. In solving that kind of problem, we will be using this formula. So this is the formula in finding the nth term of the arithmetic sequence. Our formula will be a sub n equals a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times d. Wherein our a sub 1 refers to our first term of our arithmetic sequence. The n stands for the number of terms. And d is our common difference. And a sub n is our last term. So with this formula, we will be able to find the 20th term, the 124th term, or any terms that you want to read. So we are going back with our previous example. Find the 20th term of the arithmetic sequence, 2, 5, 8, 11, so on and so forth. I know you can get the 20th term by using skip counting, but it will, be, it will take a long time. So we already have our formula. Our formula is a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. You just substitute all our given. And so from the given, we can find our a sub 1 refers to our first term. And our first term, our sequence is 2. Our n refers to the number of terms. Our problem looks for or finding the 20th term. So our n is 20. Our common difference or d, of course, it's the difference from second term to the first term, third term to the second term. So we have 5 minus 2. Answer is 3. So our common difference is 3. And our a sub n refers to the last term. But in this kind of problem, we are going to look for the last term. So a sub n or the a sub 20 is a known. So using now our given, the first step we are going to do is to substitute all of it in our given formula. So substitute. So this a sub n will become a sub 20 equals, just substitute our a sub 1 or our first term, which is 2, that's correct plus quantity of n minus 1, or n here is equal to 20. So this will become 20 minus 1. And then our, and our d as the common difference is equal to 3. So we just substitute it by 3. So again, I hope you're following. We just substitute all our given. Next, since we have to solve for a sub 20, then we have to apply or simplify these numbers according to PEMDAS. So we'll have a sub 20 equals. So we have to simplify first those inside the parentheses. So this will become 2 plus 20 minus 1 will give you 19. 19 multiplied by 3. Again, simplify according to PEMDAS. We cannot add 2 plus 19. You have to multiply first. So this will become a sub 20. Applying PEMDAS, we are not going to add 2 plus 19, but we have to multiply first 19 times 3. So we just copy 2 first plus 19 times 3, that's equivalent to 57. So since we only have 2 plus 57, then we can get our a sub 20, and our a sub 20 is equal to 50, very good, it's 59. So therefore, our 20th term that is being asked in our given problem is 59. I hope you get this one. In order for you to solve this kind of problem, you have to identify all the given. 
and see what is being asked in the given problem. And then, second, you have to substitute all your given in our formula. Third, you have to simplify according to PEMDAS. So that's how you get your final answer. Is that clear? Okay, I hope you got it right. Just do it the same with what I did on this example number one. The problem I gave you earlier, you can do this at home. You try this one. You have to find for the 124th term. And also, you have to find for the 205th term. I hope you are ready with our example number two. So we'll have this one. In the arithmetic sequence, negative 7, negative 4, negative 1, 2, so on and so forth, what term is 44? Again, in the arithmetic sequence, negative 7, negative 4, negative 1, 2, so on and so forth, what term is 44? In this kind of problem, the same with what we did, our first step is to identify the given. So what are our given? We'll take first term. Do we have first term? Yes. That is negative 7. How about the number of terms? Yes. Do we have the number of terms? If you're going to notice, we don't have number of terms. How about common difference or D? Do we have common difference? Yes, we only get the common difference by subtracting second term to first term. So negative 4 minus negative 7, that will give us the answer which is positive 3. Why? Applying again subtraction property of equality, this will become positive plus and this will become positive we change the sign of the subtrahend so this will become negative 4 plus 7 so the answer is 3 so our common difference is 3 next we have to look for the last term do we have a last term yes our last term is 44 with this given we can now use our formula. So our formula again, we have a sub n equals first term a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. First step, substitute all the given. We have a sub n. Do you have last term? Yes, we have last term. So we substitute that one and that will become 44. Equals first term. Do you have first term? Yes, and that's equivalent to negative 7. Plus quantity of n minus 1. Do we have n? If you're going to notice, our n is unknown, so we just copy n minus 1. And then our d, substitute our d, our d is 3. After that one, then we have to simplify applying or distributive property of multiplication. So the rest will be copied, so this will become 44 equals negative 7. This 3 here will be distributed to this binomial. So that will become 3 times n. So we'll have plus 3 times n that will become 3n. 3 multiplied by negative 1 that will become negative 3. Since we have to solve for n, all the constants will be combined. So we have to transpose all our constant to the other side. Applying addition property of equality. So this will become 44. Transpose this negative 7. That will become plus 7. Transpose this negative 3 to the other side. That will become positive 3. Equals. So what's left here is only 3n. Now we can add 44 plus 7 plus 3. So what's the answer? Yes. That is equivalent to. 54. Are you following? So that will be 54 equals 3n. Since we have to solve for n, we have to use the division property of equality wherein we divide both sides by 3. So dividing both sides by 3, this will become 3n divided by 3 will become n. So this will become n equals and 54 divided by 3 that's equivalent to yes 
18. Are you following? So our n is equals to 18. Meaning, 44 is the 18th term of the sequence. Negative 7, negative 4, negative 1, 2, so on and so forth. So, that's it. That's how we are going to solve this kind of problem in finding the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. Don't forget our formula. That is a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Don't forget to, if you have questions, please write it in the comment box below. And don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. And like Jasmine and Julie. I forget. Julie and Jasmine, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.